Hi, welcome to a short video on the practical usage of, of Microsoft Power Pivot. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can customize the row and column appearances inside a pivot table. For other MS Excel solutions, you may visit my website ashishmathur.com. Okay, so here's what the data looks like. I have a simple four column database with the first column listing down the user. The next one list which lists down the month. Here I have the leads and here I have the absolute sales figures. Now, I want to create a simple pivot table on the next worksheet whereby in the row labels, I'd like to drag the, uh, the username and in the column labels over here or rather in the value area section, I'd like to show month wise two uh, fields. One is the sales, one is the leads. Now, so I drag the names to the row labels to the column labels, I drag the months. And then I drag the sum and the sales and the leads to uh, the value area section of the pivot table. Now, all this looks quite well. The numbers, of course, absolutely tally. But um, the change I'd like to see over here is that I want to see um, the sum of sales for each of these months. Nevertheless, I want to see the leads only and only for all months combined. In other words, I do not want to see a leads column for each of these single months that you see over there. I want the sum for each of the months, a total for um all the months uh, i mean uh, the total sales for all the months and the total leads for all the months in other words i want to customize um, the pivot table in a manner whereby i make it appear as you can see this on the next worksheet here the names stay the way they are herein i actually have uh, the months at the top i have the sales for each of those months and um, i have the sales and the leads over here in the end as you can see leads do not appear for the individual months now, while one way could actually be to go and hide these leads columns, I can do that manually. I'd like to discuss what the power pivot solution to this particular question is. So what I do initially is, um, I'll let me first just delete the formulas which I already have written. And let me run you by how exactly would I solve this problem. So we start with a clean slate. The desired result sheet can now be deleted. And um, so that's my starting point. And let me just once again go to the data model and um, delete this from here as well. I'd like, like to run you by how I exactly did this from the very inception. I go back, convert this into a range. And okay, so let's get started off. So I have a simple uh, data set over here, which has not been converted into a table for now. Um, what I'll do initially is I'm going to select this data set. I'll convert this into a table and under table tools design, let me get assign it a name. Let's call this sales underscore data. I go to the power pivot. I say add to data model there. And um, I'll want to carry out no further processing in the power pivot window. I instead directly want to create a pivot table. So I just select pivot table over there new worksheet and uh, under analyze let's activate the field list there on the right hand side user comes to the row labels month goes over here now instead of dragging the sales and the leads within the value area section i actually go to the power pivot uh, window i'll say calculated fields new calculated field over here and let's just call this total sales which should be a summation of the sales column from my sales data sheet and let's format that um, as a whole number. So I get my sales uh, figures over here. I do the very same for the total leads as well. I do a summation from the sales data set of the leads column and uh, format this as a whole number click on OK. So, so far, the result that I've got is no different from what I already do have in um, the abortive pivot table attempt worksheet. Right. So this does not seem to have answered my question. But here's what I can now do. With any one cell within the pivot table, in the pivot table tools toolbar, there's something called analyze, under which there's something called OLAP tools. And in OLAP tools over here, um, sorry, um, so under OLAP tools over here, um, 
So not under OLAP tools, but under pivot table tools, analyze under fields, items, and sets. There's something called create set based on column items. If I click on this one over here, now as you can see here, I can actually customize the columns that I want to see inside the pivot table. I have every month appearing twice over here, over here, one for sales, one for leads. Now for every month, I only want to see the sales, not the leads. So I go here, I click on delete row. Here, delete row, here, delete row. For all, which is the total column, I'd like to see total sales as well as leads. I click on OK and I get the structure that I'm looking at. So this uh, feature of create set based on row or column items is only available when you create a pivot table from a power pivot or maybe any other, any other external data source that I may not be aware of, but it is not available when you create normal pivot tables. So that's what my solution would be. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you.